Hello students. So in today's session, we shall look at some rules of tabulation. A good statistical table is not only grouping of data into columns and rows, but also summarizing the total information in an easy way with minimum possible space. Though there is no hard and fast tool for preparation of a table, yet a few general points should be kept in mind, which are given below. So. What is the function of a table to comprehend, to condense the huge, vast, voluminous data into simple tabular form? Okay, so table consisting of rows and columns. Okay, so the information should be condensed in such a way that everyone from a statistician who is using it to a layman who is using it first time and trying to understand something about the data both of these should be easily able to recognize the data in the form of the table both should be easily able to understand the data written in the table okay so the function of a table is to make sure that the data looks precise and solvable so although there are no hard and fast tools the following points they are not any rules that your table should be like that but they are some general prerequisites if you follow it will be good if you follow them then the data can be written in a proper form and a proper structured table so let us look at those points one by one the first point is size the size of the table should be according to the size of the paper with more rows than columns sufficient space should be provided in a particular cell to enter any new or to alter any affected figures. So size of the table should be according to the paper. So you can't write a table which is or uh, which contains two pages or as possible as such table should be avoided because the basic function of the table is to make sure that the data is written in a smaller form. So your data, so your table should fit the uh, page that you are writing into properly okay so more rows should be there than the columns okay next logical order the stuffs captions should be arranged logically according to alphabetical chronological or geographical order so uh, suppose you are writing a table a table of say number of states and the production of paddy in those states so you can't write one one column here one state here and its production here and the next the production here and the state here no in one column there should be the name of the states and in another column there should be the production of paddy in terms of tons so they should be arranged in ascending or descending order or in geographical order so the order of the rows and columns should be logical or according to some pattern that is alphabetical chronological geographical etc the table should not be overloaded with the number of characteristics rather can be prepare another table so too much of information should not be loaded in the table so table the function of the table is to make sure that the data looks simplified so if you write too much of information too much of rows and columns in the table makes it jutted or overloaded which will make sure or which will make the reader very difficult to understand the aspects of the table or the content of the table okay so the table should not have too much of information rather it should be very precise or if there there, there are many variables to be represented then we can represent them by using multiple tables of a variable and their respective reputations but too much of information should not be there in a table next a table should be complete in all respects so all the parts of the table should be clearly mentioned the table should be numbered a proper title should be given if there are any abbreviations it should be mentioned in the head note or subtitle the captions and stubs should be clearly written sub captions and uh, sub stubs should be clearly written
okay nothing should be incomplete footnote if you have used any shortcuts then you have to mention them in the footnote you have to mention the source of the data that you have taken so all these aspects should be complete when you are writing a data no cell should be left blank either put a dash or not available so none of the cells in the table should be blank we should not them or not leave them unwritten instead if there is no data available to write then either put a hyphen or a dash or simply write na that is not available so leaving the blank makes the task incomplete so that gets the reader confused if you leave if you leave the cell blank then it may confuse the reader about what might be there so a, a reader might assume that there was any value but you have not written it or you have missed it so this will be misleading for the reader if you put a dash or not available then the reader will not bother about the blank cell okay miscellaneous column should be provided for the presentation of ratios percentage of the data so a miscellaneous column should be provided where you can express the ratios and percentages if your data is in ratio or in percentages so every time you cannot write the percentage so in a column just refer it to as a percentage okay next ditto marks should not be used as they may confuse with the row and column row or column so these type of marks should not be used in a table they may confuse you with the row or the column okay footnote so the footnote should be properly mentioned so sometimes if your table has too much of information then in order to comprehend the data or in order to comprehend the table you might not write the complete names of the stubs or captions you may write them in shortcuts but when you write them in shortcuts you need some explanation because if you directly write the shortcut and if you don't mention any references then the reader may not get the clarity of what is the meaning of the shortcut so such things are usually written in the footnote so if your table has any such shortcuts or explanations about certain things to be written suppose the data is taken there but uh, the uh, writer wants to mention or the author wants to mention that the data the sample size of the data so he puts a star mark in front of the caption or a stub and then he will explain that in the footnote so as a user you have to make sure that if you have any such explanations to give the reader while reading the table then you have to mention such things in the footnote so it explains the omissions remarks regarding the numer numerical entries of the data so footnote is useful for such an aspect and last one is source the data obtained from the publications organizations journals should be mentioned so whenever you are writing a table you have to make sure that the data you have obtained and written in the table you have got it from some source so you have to make sure that you are mentioning that source because sometimes the viewer may want to cross check your information the information given by you whether it is correct or not whether you have taken it from the reliable sources or not suppose you are uh, you are trying to present a publication papers a research paper so in that research paper you have written a data and you have analyzed the table and written the results so you need to mention the sources of where you have taken the data for that table so you have to mention that in the a table below the footnote as source so what are the sources that you have chosen so that the publications which are trying to publish your paper will cross verify it to understand the genuinity to check for the genuinity so that there is no issue of plagiarism okay or organizations or journals so the source from where your data has come or from where you have obtained the data should be clearly mentioned in the sources so these are some of the steps you need to take care while constructing a table like said earlier these are not any hard and fast rule they are just a few points that if you take care of 
for a good precise and a proper tape